Hello friends, welcome, welcome to another lovely day on Willop. Uh, today is going to be an exciting day. Um, I'm going to quick do a few things on this character and then I will be starting a brand new second character. So I am very excited for that. Uh, let's start off by checking my mail though. Because um, yeah, I, I assumed I would have some stuff. Benjamin. I like writing letters because it makes me think about how my grandma wrote me letters before people quit writing letters. Write a letter, Lexi. Be like my grandma. Oh. Did that say she smelled good? Um. Okay. You've got a bed, a chair, a table, and a closet. Your home is homier than ever. Enjoy the included gift and keep making that home happy. She smelled good. Yeah, he did say that. I guess maybe I didn't. I didn't have a bed in my house before because I was just using a hammock. Um. And I got a rat and low table. Okay, uh, I'm gonna quickly go out and clear my inventory and then um, I want to, I have over 100,000 and so I want to pay off one of the vendors over on Harvey's Island. Not entirely sure who I wanna pay off yet, but um, we'll figure it out. Uh, and then that'll probably be all I, oh, I also wanna check Nook's Cranny and then that'll probably be all and then we'll switch on over to my other character. It has been so rainy and cloudy all day and I've been loving it. Oh, there's Gullivar. I probably won't help him, but I will grab this message bottle. What did we get? Ketchup gave us a foxtail. I think I was gifted one of these, but yeah, I didn't have the DIY. Awesome, nice, okay. Um, Let's check Snook's Cranny and then we'll head on over to Harvey's Island. Now, I've never made a second character before. So I don't know, like, do they start off in a 10? Or do they just automatically get a house? I don't know how the experience is different. So I guess we'll find out. Um, I don't think I want anything here. Touchdown, like fix some things in a salt shaker. We are parked and proud. Okay. So who and I all even have left? Um, I think I have kicks, um, kicks, uh, Katrina and Tortimer. I think I'm gonna go with kicks. Hello. We're accepting donations to fund a dapper dealer of fine shoes and handbags, boss. Our goal is a hundred thousand. Currently, we have forty-one thousand. Right? I always forget that you don't. I don't actually need a hundred thousand left because I've left these so long. Um, so I only need fifty-eight thousand. So maybe we'll be able to pay off two of them. Okay, let's donate fifty-eight thousand two hundred and sixty. Yes, we just reached our goal of a hundred thousand bells. Isn't that great? The new co-op will be opening soon. Awesome! Exciting. All right, we reached our donation goal. How much money do I have left? I still have 88,000 left, so I could, I could pay off another one. I'm assuming, oh, wait, what? We are no longer accepting donations. Come back another day. Oh, can I not pay off two in a day? Okay, so I can't. Okay, anyway, well, I guess, cool. So we'll, we'll go check out uh, Kicks tomorrow and then maybe pay off another one. But, um, I hope you guys all enjoyed No, uh, I am gonna go and switch on over to my other character. Let's, let's go, let's go. I'm very excited. Good afternoon, we're so excited to have you here. Welcome to the check-in counter for your big moving day trip to Willop. There's so much to look forward to, but first let us introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nook Inc. And I'm Tommy. The two of us are already living on Willop. We're there to support everyone, including you. Think of us as your partners. We're in the long we're in it for the long haul, so let's get started, shall we? Now, let's walk through the steps to get you moved into the island. The first step is checking your application. Is this your first time applying for one of our packages? Okay, I'm gonna say yes because I'm not transferring a character. Understood. Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we just have your name and birthday? 
Okay, I'm gonna make the name Pippet because it's a character from Skyward Sword. Uh, he's like one of the training people in Link's class or something, I think. I don't know. I really like his character though. Um, so, and I like the name, so Pippet. Um, yes. And then the birthday, I'm just gonna make it something random. We'll do, I wanna do it recent so that I could like have a character birthday soon. Um, Cause I think I made mine in like, I think I made my characters it, like really late in the year. So we'll do like 513, May 13th, sure. Pippet, Pippet, let's see. Oh yes, here you are. Her next step will be to take a picture of you, Pippet. Oh, don't worry. Take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. We'll be ready when you are. Awesome. Okay. Uh, I am going to have my character be a boy. And he is... I'm not going to try to make him look like Pippet in the game. But it'll probably just kind of end up happening because of the style I'm going for. Um, we'll do like that color. And oh, there really isn't that much to go off of. I forgot. Okay, I'm kind of thinking this. I don't like any of the mouths other than this one because this one just seems like too aggressively happy. And the same with this one. This one seems like a nice like smirk kind of like a you know, soft smile. And I don't want this one. So, so I'm going to go with this. Here is Pippet. Uh, does everything look okay? You can change your look later. Yes. Great, you're all set. I'll just go ahead and add that picture to your records. That concludes everything we need to do here. Don't worry, we'll give you an in-depth overview of island life once we're back on the ground. Are we not on the ground now? I guess he said back on the ground. Your attention, please. This is a service announcement. The charter flight to Willop is ready for boarding. Any customers wanting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. Ah, perfect timing. Come on, let's all board the plane together. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, I've never had a second character, so I don't know what to... I mean, it'll be similar, but I don't know. Hello, everyone. Thank you for taking this chartered flight to Willop. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy a free video about Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package. I've already watched this. Welcome to Willop. I hope you enjoyed your flight. Would you please join us for a short orientation session? Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. Oh. Okay. Hi. I don't know if it's much of a presentation, considering it's just me, but... President Nook, I've got Pippet here. Yes, yes, very good. Hello, hello, so you're, new, you're our new resident, Pippet. Welcome to Willop. I'm Tom Nook, manager of this island and president and CEO of Nook, Inc. Originally, this was a deserted island, so Nook, Inc. offered a deserted island getaway package. We're a lot less deserted now, but we still accept new residents. Now, Pippet, uh, as to the matter of where you'll rest your sleepy head at night... There's a little comfort item for ya. And, uh, I'm terribly sorry, but due to a slight mix-up, we weren't able to prepare a place for you to live yet. If you could, take a look around and set up your tent wherever you'd like. That shouldn't be a problem, right? After all, it's in keeping with our original deserted island theme. There's something else you'll need as well. It's your very own Nook phone. I had these made especially for island residents. I want to make sure it's working right, so could you try turning it on for me? Good, good. Looks like you're getting good reception as well. Oh, feel free. Uh, okay, feel free to put it away now. Say, Pivot, have you ever used a smartphone before? Sure have. Very good. Then this should be a breeze for you. In fact, these Nook phones are rather easier to operate than ordinary phones. Oh yes, we simply removed most of the features. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Uh, there's also a very useful app that contains advice for living here. Normally this would not be free of charge, but as you're just getting started, consider it an extra bonus. It's called Island Life 101, and it's... Didn't I also get that for free? So, it is usually free of charge. Uh, it's a message delivery service of sorts, feel like giving it a try, hmm? Oh no, I think I, I think I accidentally clicked, I don't need it. 
but I think I still got it. But I'm going to say yes, please, just so I can get it. You should pull out your Nook phone again so I can send you the app. Okay. Yeah, I think I accidentally declined it, actually. But I think I still got it. I think I, like, bought it myself or something, which is stupid, but... Perfect, perfect. You've now got the Island Life 101 app as well. You'll start getting messages once you're out and about doing things, reading them as they arrive. Okay. Finally, the most important item of all. I hear a balloon. It's your itemized bill. I haven't even, like, got a plot of land yet. How can you give me my bill? This includes everything. Airfare, accommodations, labor, tax, and of course your nook phone. Hmm? Bringing you your grand total to the modest sum of 49,800 bells. Okay. Yes, yes, you've... Huh? Hey, Pippet, don't you have any money at all? Oh no, no bells, Pippet. It's crazy, honestly. So many of my customers arrive here without two bells to rub together. I'll no need to worry. I was prepared for... Uh, exactly this type of tricky situation. For the getaway package, you can pay your fees with miles instead of the standard bells. Call us extremely helpful service the Nook Mileage Program. Um, okay. Mileage? Well, it's quite extraordinary if I do say so myself. With the new Nook Mileage Program, you can earn miles by simply living your life. The more you enjoy your island life, the more Nook Miles you can earn. You can use them to pay back your movement fees. The bottom line is, uh, you'd need 49 thousand bells to pay your moving fees but with the new service would you believe it only comes to five thousand miles i'll just go ahead and register you so you can pay in miles yes yes but there are more details available within your nook phone just make sure to open the nook phone mile app and you'll see that you've earned some miles just for traveling to the island and joining the program if i could turn your attention to the resident services building behind me the delightful isabel and i are there 24 hours a day to support you so stop by the consult with us to consult with us whenever uh, now if you excuse us we'll be getting back to work so happy to have you uh, as a nook ink customer okay geez that was a lot of talking my life my new life is underway i can do whatever i want woohoo nice oh my goodness okay i want to get rid of all these notifications so i'm just gonna quickly go through my phone and get rid of all the phone notifications uh we did get a nook miles you enrolled in the mileage program okay i already know all this i'm not gonna be sentimental about it okay there's 500 oh call a resident use this app to invite up to three of the residents uh living on the island to play together where you Begin, you'll need enough controllers. Okay. I forgot about this. I'm not going to right now, but that's, I forgot about that. Little birdies. I already know what's all on this board, but, um, might as well look. Um, so. I need to change my map settings, first of all. I want, so Pippitz is going to be running the tavern. Um, and I want the, I should have cleared out this area so I didn't lose any bushes and stuff, but oh well. Um, I'm gonna be put in his house, like, around here. Is that gonna work? I know it's real close to the river. Oh, that might be kind of annoying when I'm fishing. I might move it down one. I kinda do like it up further, though. <laughs> I kind of like that. Okay. Yes. Let's do that. Nice. Set up my tent. Now, oh, uh, home base for island living, I think it said. I'm going to move this guy out of the way. Uh, and then we're going to check my mail. From Nintendo. Congratulations on your big move. We hope to, you enjoy your new life on Willop. To celebrate this fresh start, we'd like to give you a gift that is sure to come in handy from Nintendo. <clears throat> a simple DIY workbench. Is this a DIY recipe? I wonder how I can memorize it. Oh, I don't even know how to do DIYs yet. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, let's head on over to resident services and see oh there's another balloon i need a slingshot ah pippet welcome to resident services this is where we support the lives of all island residents feel free to chat with me about uh island life anytime for island business isabel will be happy to assist you 
One more important thing, I'm offering a free DIY workshop that can help you really build out your island experience. I think it would be quite useful, so I do hope you take me up on it. Yeah, how do I take you up on that? Allow me to quickly explain the services that offer my counter, give advice on island living. If you're unsure what to do, ask what should I do with that information in my- okay. Uh, I need your help. Ready to jump into action? In that case, what would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. I've got just the thing. You've yet to attend one of my DIY workshops. Once you get going with DIY, you'll really open some new doors. I dare say it's a crucial to island life. Of course, the workshop is completely free. No hidden fees. I do recommend it highly. Do I just have to go up to his, his DIY table then? Now, I see you've discovered my DIY workbench. I did not know for the first, like, two years of playing this that there was a workbench in here. I knew in, like, the little tent there was, but in... He, like once it's renovated i did not know that this was a diy workbench so that's embarrassing but each participant will make and keep their own tools and receive a set of diy recipes i think it'd be quite useful for island life hmm? so shall i put you down for the next available session i'd love to that's the island sphere i happen to be for right this very moment so let's get started welcome to my diy workshop oh i suppose workshop is overselling it a bit hmm uh when you see how simple it is to DIY or do it yourself, you'll understand what I mean. The basic idea is to gather materials, follow a recipe, and then craft using a workbench like this one. Uh, so today we'll be constructing a fishing rod using common materials that you can find anywhere. For this particular recipe, we require a mere five tree branches. Is it? It is admittedly a little flimsy. Now then, come see me once you've collected materials. Okay. Ugh. So my goals for today as Pivot uh, are to take this DIY workshop thing um i don't think i'll be able to get enough miles today alone um but maybe we'll see and i want to check out able sisters see if i can buy a different outfit for myself and then um i also want to steal my other characters crops and sell them to just get myself going a little bit on this character um just so I have a little bit of money. Um, but, okay, let's go. Hi, I have um, the sticks. Ah, oh, pivot found the necessary materials. Well then, let's get started on crafting that fishing rod. Just select a project from the workbench and get started. Go ahead, give it a try. Flimsy fishing rod, here we go. I made a flimsy fishing rod. Awesome, yes, that was perfect. As you can see, crafting is quite simple, provided you have the correct recipes. Hmm? And that concludes my free DIY workshop. Oh, there's just one last thing I have. Um, or one last thing, I have a few common DIY recipes for you, free of charge, naturally. I'll just need to send them to your Nook phone. Would you mind opening it up? Nice, DIY recipes. Splendid, thank you. The DIY app is now installed on your phone and ready for you to use anytime. And the flimsy fishing rod you just crafted is yours to keep. It may not last forever, but it should serve you well for a little while at least. Uh, I'm told that it is that the best anglers like to switch up their favorite spots and fish at different times of the day. I suppose it's to catch a larger variety of fish, hmm? Okay, let's learn this. I won't need it because I've got workbenches already all over the place but we have that and then what are the starter ones that he gave me probably just the starter tools um oh and then we got a ladder oh really we didn't get like a shovel or anything is the axe the net vaulting pole ladder and then that's some other stuff okay um oh well okay let's head on over to well i'm gonna go get all the crops from my farm and then i'm going to oh, i guess i need to introduce myself hi pippet right hey i got it right i'm renee what's up you know you're the talk of the island right like everyone wants to meet the newbie well welcome to the island hit me up if you ever need a party partner all right oh cute and then i was gonna say i think i saw rex here hey there my new snack buddy my name is rex and snacks are my thing and bugs. Bugs and snacks are my things. And saying man a lot, too. Like, man, snacks and bugs, right? That's basically me, but you, you just moved here, right? Man, I can't wait 
to find out what your thing is. Even if it's not bugs and snacks, we'll still be friends. Okay, Rex. Got a Nook Mile reward for uh, harvesting stuff, I assume? Yeah. Awesome. I'm not going to be playing much on this character, I'm going to be honest. I'm mainly going to be playing on just my main character. And then if I like get a furniture item or whatever, then I'll go in and you know give it to my character give it to this character and stuff like that i'm not really going to be doing a ton of playing but i do want a little bit of money just in case we got the next two for harvesting 50 and 150. welcome welcome oh pippet you've come to shop um we've got all sorts of furniture and goods i'm sure you'll find something useful here we're very proud of our selection please take your time and look around um, okay, I want to sell, uh, everything. <laughs> 55,000. Okay, so that'll be a solid, um, get myself off the ground kind of money saving. And I'm gonna buy some of these DIY sets, the DIYs for beginners, for 480 bells. Okay, time to send the recipes from DIY beginners to your phone. And we're done. Hope you enjoy the DIY even more now with your new recipes. Anything else look interesting? Yes, uh, I want the test your DIY skills. Nice, okay. I don't remember what's in these two, but I'll buy them. I'm assuming one of them is like the rest of the tools and then the other one is um, like some basic furniture. Yeah, it looks, oh, it looks, like we only got furniture do i really just have to individually go through and buy all the tools like the the tool diys okay let's go ahead and do that uh, i already have the axe i need the shovel okay uh i don't care about the pitfall seed and the ladder setup kit recipe so um i'm not gonna bother and then i don't have i flooring and wallpaper is useless to me as of right now so yeah let's head on over to the able sisters hello we haven't met before have we well i'm mabel and it's a pleasure to meet you here at able sisters we carry a variety of apparel shoes and accessories all lovingly claw made here let me give you a quick tour of our shop okay so when you first walk in you'll find recommended items right there front and center we change this up every single day you know to keep things fresh then over on the left you'll find our mannequins they're dressed up in whatever seasonal outfits we're into we change them up from time to time rather than daily, still we hope you'll be inspired. Of course, if you see something on the mannequins you love, you're more than welcome to buy it. Which brings us to the back wall. Here you'll find custom designs brought in by our customers. We'd love to display your designs, of course, and if you want any of these designs, they're yours for free. Speaking of custom designs, next to the wall displays, you'll find our custom designs portal. You can use that kiosk to order designs from creators all over the world and even share your own. The last thing I want to tell you about is the fitting room. It's on the right side of the shop in the back. This is where you can go and try on all, uh, anything that's available for sale that day, including all the color variations. Our display space is limited, so the fitting room is also the place to check out the items we couldn't put out. Yeah, the fitting room is really great, and it's a terrific way to see how an outfit is coming together. I think that's everything. Wow, I guess I get kind of chatty when I'm talking about the shop. She just completely just skipped over her sister. Uh, we're open every day from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. I hope to be seeing, here, seeing you here lots. Hi. Sorry, can't talk. No talking, only sewing. Oh, whoops, I'd be happy to help you with whatever you need. Just step away from the seamstress. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's see. Yep, 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 yep. I know how a fitting room works. Okay, so I'm gonna buy um, the antique boots, the everyday socks, and uh, the fedora. Don't know if I'll end up keeping all of those. I oh, and then I have these equipped as well, but I don't think I'm actually gonna buy those. I'll just go ahead and slip what you were wearing before into your inventory. Awesome. So many Nook Mile rewards. Okay, I honestly don't have much else that I want to do today. Um, I don't really wanna do a ton of crafting because I don't really care about doing that on this character. Um, I guess we didn't go inside. Let's go inside her tent. Oh, nobody comes in. I figured somebody would come in, but I guess not. Let's turn that on and then I might as well display my 
shoes. Can I hang the um, socks on the wall? Oh, no, I can't on the tent. Okay. I guess I'll just display my socks. Okay, if we do something like that. I don't know, that's kind of cute. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be everything for today. We only need a thousand more. Well, I guess 900 more Nook Miles. I don't have any uh, emotes, so uh, that is going to be everything for today. Um, I can't sit down at the end of the video because I don't have that emote. But I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I will see you guys all very, very soon for another lovely day on Willop. Goodbye!